This week, I DIY'd a lamp and a side table using budget IKEA products, and spoiler alert, they turned out amazing. So today I'm showing you how I did them. I'm on, by the way, thank you so much for stopping by. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel so we can start right away. The inspo for the first project was this famous mushroom lamp. The price for it was too high, so I decided to DIY it using these two IKEA products. First things first, let's remove the stickers. Now the plan is to paint only the inside of the glass since that way we'll get this glossy finish that's pretty much scratch resistant. So the next step is covering both of these with plastic wrap and painter's tape in order to protect the outside of the glass where we don't want the paint. And now let's paint. The trick here is actually to get many many light coats in order to avoid any drips. So that's why we're spraying one coat, then waiting for 30 minutes before doing another one. Just make sure to keep your distance and keep it light. Patience is everything here. Once they are all covered up and dried out, it's now time to uncover them. And just look how perfect they came out. And the last step is to add in the light. We are hot gluing it in the center of the bowl. I found this one on Amazon and I'll make sure to link it down below. And now let's see how the lamp turned out. Now for the second project, I had this single Calyx unit and I knew this one had so much more potential, so we are turning it into the perfect side table for my living room. Mm -hmm. 
So first things first, we are removing the bottom part so that it looks like a table with two legs. Now when that's done, I proceeded with applying the mesh tape. I searched and searched the whole internet, thinking about should I tape it or not, and in the end I decided to go for it, since first IKEA furniture is so glossy and has no grip to it whatsoever, plus the tape will prevent any cracks from happening in the future. Also, for this project, I wanted to try out something other than plaster, so I decided to go for tile adhesive just to experiment a bit. I also read that tile glue is more water resistant than plaster and it's a way better option for glassy furniture. And now we start applying it. I just went in with plastering hawk, however you can go in with speckle knife or anything of that kind. And honestly, right from the start, I was so happy that I chose the tile adhesive for this project instead of using plaster. This material turned out to be so easy to work with, it's easier to smooth it out, it doesn't dry out as fast as plaster does, and it's a good material for any plastery-like project. So 10 out of 10 for the tile adhesive. However, you can absolutely do it with plaster too. In one of my previous videos, I DIY'd a coffee table with plaster and it still holds up so well. I'll make sure to link that video down below. Once I covered everything, I left it to dry overnight. It's the next day and everything looks great. And now it's time to sand it. I went in with 180 grit sandpaper and I sanded anywhere I felt harsh lines or just too much texture. After cleaning everything up from the sanding, I turned the table upside down to add 
pads on the legs. I found this scrap piece of carpet, so I decided to hot glue it to the bottom of the legs. This table is pretty heavy, so this will help me to move it around easier. And now it's time to paint. For the paint, I of course went with a beige color. This one's acrylic paint for walls and it's for outdoor use too, so it's more durable and water resistant. And please don't judge my poor choice of brush. This one was the only brush I had at home, so I just went with it. And now are you ready to see how the table turned out? Thank you so much for watching, I'm honestly beyond happy with how these two projects turned out. Make sure to let me know in the comment section below which one was your favorite. Also make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel so you never miss another video again. And as always, I'll see you designers next week, bye!